All right, come to Philly. I want you to be on the stream. You look good next to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Do you like him or don't like him? Is nothing you could do about him because he's number one. Whether you like him or don't like him, is nothing you can do about him because he's number one. Can you be submissive to your man? <laughs> can I make you so? Where are you from? Ellen. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. Yeah, a man. I feel like a man gotta make me submissive. If a man, I, I, I keep saying I want a man to make me soft because I'm rough on him. So by you saying you know you you rough on these niggas, you probably won't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? But I know that that <laughs> feminine, that submissive side. That see that smile right there. What's what's behind that smile is gonna come out over time. The more you trust me as a man. Yeah, what's good, Dojo baby man? Have no fear, Taekwondo is here, man. Y'all know we out here slaying. It's about to be double XP weekend going on. Oh wait, no, nah, double XP weekend just passed. I hope y'all just finished sending the Dooney Demons to Dooney Land in the back of the Dooney Van. Straight to the Gula, man. I know what's going on. I'm, I'm gonna drop this banger off for y'all. I ain't gonna say too much in the intro. We about to hit the 220k pack in the air. That's <laughs> it's gas or what, man? Listen, this was this was a surprise side quest for y'all, man. Chat was like, go on a date. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm gonna have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I had to pull up, had to flirt, had to talk my talk, make her blush, make her smile. Sure, why Taekwondo is the sensei of seduction in a, in a fun, laid back way. You know, no no try hard shit. But listen. Stay tuned. We you know we going to the moon to Saturn and we leaving the solar system and the limbs when you know we exist. I love y'all, man. Keep going up. All right. Well, I got somebody else for you. Okay. All right. Hello. How y'all doing? Good. All right. How listen. So I ain't get the memo on this uh black quarter zip thing. <laughs> I didn't really. I didn't get the memo. They ain't passed that out. Was I supposed to come up in uniform? Yes. <laughs> What's good? What you said? What is it down? You gonna have to buy me one. You gonna have to give me one. I heard you're an artist. Yes, I am. What kind of music do you make? What, what, that'll tell me a lot about you. R&B. R&B. All right. So how some of your lyrics go? Cause it's different types of R&B. You got Bryson Tiller R&B, and then you got Janae Aiko Freaky R&B. Mhm. Mm it's a mixture. <laughs> it's a mix. So are you toxic? No. But I've been in toxic situations. Okay, let's get Lloyd Quando Melly. Don't be trolling me with these comments. They always be trying to talk shit and it's done. But no, Wait, I fuck okay. with that. So you know how usually I let you talk, but I have a question today. I right, ask me a question. <laughs> oh, oh, brother, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, now you got too much dip on your chip. Now y'all know, my dear friend Melly, my beloved friend Melly, when she said this to me. I did not know what to expect. Y'all know Melly be throwing curveballs, man. She be throwing a hundred mile power curveballs, Hall of Fame defense. But I listen. I give Melly. I give Melly Monaco credit where it's due. She been doing good lately. All, all these recent blind dates. I mean, excuse me. All these recent e dates. You know what I'm saying? She ain't been cock blocking. She ain't been averaging 30, 30 boards, fifteen blocks, and, and, and twenty steals. She been she been being a good wing man, a, a good wing woman. You know what I'm saying? She's been throwing it off the backboard, like, allowing me to windmill it, sh -sh -sh -sh, do something crazy, bam! You know what I'm saying? She be helping me slay, but but the way she asked this question, it seemed like she was out for blood, trying to get some, trying to get some vengeance. I got a question. All right, you and Asia are dating. You move in together. Who pays the rent? That was kind of fast, wasn't it, Asia? Yep. It's kind of fast. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? Just the, just the kind of man I am. Um. It depends though. If I'm if I'm looking at her, if I'm moving in with her, I'm probably already consider her as the mother of my kids and shit like that. I want her to have the most leisure that she can. And I we'll probably split certain things. Like I'll probably pay the rent. She'll probably pay the internet. She'll you know what I'm saying? Like I I move like that. And if I had to take care of everything, I would. You know I'm saying okay. she she'd be doing shows and shit like that. They're gonna hit her on the back end. We gotta do something with that. If I pay the rent, she gotta do the investments, you know what I'm saying? How that sound? How that sound to you, Asia? Wait, wait. Let me ask you, Asia. Take care of business. 
Hmm? Can you be submissive to your man? <laughs> Can I make you so where are you from? Ellen. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. That's gonna be easy. I'm from Philly. Okay. Yeah, a man I feel like a man gotta make me submissive. If a man I, I, I keep saying I want a man to make me soft because I'm rough on him. Well, that's how you're supposed to be, though. Because listen, if you want me to get into it, I really, I really discuss topics a lot like this, you know, because I'm a um, dating coach kind of thing. I'm not on the Kevin Samuels thing. I don't, I don't bash women. I really so put the accountability on the men. <clears throat> and one of the things I talk about is like femininity, the way it is and its nature is is vulnerable. It's exposed. It's real compassionate. So a man's masculine side brings out a woman's feminine side, but a feminine side is always guarded and protected. So by you saying, you know, you you rough on these niggas, you probably wouldn't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? But I know that <laughs> that feminine, that submissive side, that see that smile right there, what's, what's behind that smile is going to come out over time when you trust me as a man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So what, so what have you learned from your toxic situations? How has that grown you as a woman and prepared you for your next man? Um, Just knowing more about myself. Um, knowing what I want and what I deserve, um, knowing what I'm not about to accept. So tell me, like, so I will chop and I will cut a nigga off. You make one mistake, you out. So. <laughs> Ruthless, I. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. And this is, I'm the same way. I ain't gonna lie. I'll tell you what's important for you to know. You know what I'm saying? What you said? You're, you're a dating coach. Why are you single? My lifestyle, to be honest. What's your lifestyle? I work 25-8. You know what I'm saying? I never... <clears throat> what do I do? Yeah. Well, listen, I'm a full-time college student. You know college is out right now. I'm about to graduate. Um, I do... I manage everything. I'm my own I'm my own manager, assistant. I'm my own marketing team. I'm my own brand maker. I do everything on my own. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do that a lot of the time. So when it comes to messing with a woman and shit like that, that's on the back burner shit that I worry about. So... With all due respect, I just don't have a girl because I never met somebody that been like on some power couple shit. Now, if I listen, if I met a girl and she was like on some, we could record content, we could stream, we could we could make music videos and shit like that. Do you know what I'm saying? That I I'll be on that type of time, but I ain't met a hustler like me yet. Okay, so how do you feel about someone who doesn't want to be public with a relationship? Someone that doesn't what? Want to be public with a relationship. I don't care. I don't judge. If they want to do that, then they want to do that. I'm saying like your girlfriend. She, her choice is not to be public. Okay. I, I I wouldn't care. Public? Would you do? I feel like I feel like that's that's weird for a man to complain about that. Like post me. Why don't you put like I don't, I ain't that type of nigga. That's one thing about me. I'm not the type of nigga that's gonna be text me back faster and where you been like I'm not I'm not gonna be you know all up on your ass and shit like that I have a fun a level of trust if I can't trust you I'm not gonna be with you mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but what was your second question though oh that was it oh alright so wait so if she wants to post you you're cool with that of course she okay. said she said make it not public that was probably the first woman I ever heard say that do you are you like that like you don't want you don't like to be public you like to move behind the scenes mm-hmm. I like that I like that. I'm real low key, real laid yeah. back. What you said? Keep people out your business. They won't know if you're single or in a relationship. Oh God. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that. So listen, if I'm streaming, listen. Let's say I'm doing content and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. And um, people like to see, you know, me as a dating coach, go on dating shows, talk to women. Would you care? Would you care about me flirting with women for content? You start analyzing this shit. <laughs> Would you care? Do you like girls? Do you find women attractive? No. Okay. Okay. I just I had think, to ask. Well, I like. I like. I'm not gonna lie. I look at women like women booties and stuff like that. But I don't. I, you ain't never. You ain't never uh, took a sample. No, nah, that's funny as shit though. We, so where you primarily be at? You and I heard you was in New York right now for a show. Congratulations. Where do you primarily be though? Atlanta, but I'm be all over a lot. All right, come to Philly. I want you to be on the stream. You look good next to me. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? 
you know. Right. Sorry, sorry, I got a question. What'd you say? Hold on, hold on. What'd you say, Asian? I said, as a friend, we could like do that, you know? My granddad stays in Willingboro, so it's not far from Philly. I don't, I don't know what that is, but just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Jersey is 30 minutes away from the Philly airport, so. All right, that's easy. All right, listen, I'm uh. So wait, wait, cause you wanna leave now. I got some questions. Asia, did you just friends on him? <laughs> no, she said as a friend, cause that's how that's how good relationships will start. That's how good relationships will start. Asia, did you just friends on him? Yeah, as a friend. Mm. Okay. How, that's how everything starts. Yeah, I'm about to oh. say, Melly, she ain't saying it on some bro bro shit. Cause I ain't gonna, oh, lie. I ain't, okay. I ain't on some bro bro shit. I'm, Oh, but but you can't come off on me like I already know no? no that's why I ain't trip over I said that's just how the shit started smooth you might cut off what you said Ty, I got one more I got one more question for you how I, I'm you, you cut Asia off you can't keep cut alright go ahead go. cause I might be cutting in and out so I don't be hearing all his senses okay what uh, what is your relationship with your dad oh great great yeah great yeah, yeah. My my father is a. This is this is actually a moment to shout out my father. My father is a great role model. You know what I'm saying? He did a great job at preparing me to be a man, being honest, being upfront. You know, never never handing out nothing. Friend zone is crazy. See, that's that's how she made it seem when, as a friend. But chat, that's that's just how shit come off smooth. Like you don't force nothing. You don't, I'm not throwing myself at it. You know what I'm saying? Flirting, flirting, and a spark. That shit natural. You know what I'm saying? So that whole. Friend, that ain't some bro bro shit. I'm gonna say that right now. That ain't some bro bro shit. We ain't knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> any any other questions, Melly? Any other questions, Agent? Uh, you want more? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. How do you feel, Ty, if uh, Asia's body count is higher than yours? It probably it probably is. I don't know. I don't have that many bodies. You say you don't have any. As long as she got experience, I don't have many bodies. Oh, many, you said? Yeah, I many. Heard, I was like, oh. Is she here? What happened to her phone? I think she might be receiving a call or something. Okay. Somebody disconnected it. Yeah. I mean, I I, it was a call coming through. <laughs> Did you hear the answer, though? Yeah. Okay. So, Asia, how would you feel if my body count was higher than yours? As long as you don't got no, no look. Yeah. Extra stuff coming out of you, I guess. You do. <laughs> <laughs> shit sizzling, shit, shit burning in ticket downstairs. Now that's how I feel like, cause somebody, somebody could have thirty bodies and have uh, no STDs, and somebody could have one body and thirty STDs. So, you know what I'm saying? Long as, long as everything's straight in the body, long as you uh, eating right and take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? I have your nutrition, no, no, no toxic shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What, what else, Molly? <laughs> you gonna ask me do I got any kids? Who, who is who's next? Uh I mean I know the answer. Ty don't doesn't have kids. Right. I got a lot of siblings though, so you gotta be a, a family oriented person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asia, do you want kids? Yeah. How many? Three. That's a solid number. No, no, big gaps or like close close together type shit. Knock them out. I like that. Back to back type shit. Okay. <laughs> so Ty, when there's a conflict with your girl, how do you handle it? Um, give me a scenario. Give me because all levels of conflict aren't the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. She told you she she's gonna go out. She's coming back by like eleven, and you had some stuff uh, maybe planned for her or whatever. But she ended up having a little more fun, and she comes home at like twelve thirty. And you're a little mad about it. Let's get into it. I wouldn't even be more so mad about her staying after 1230. I'd be more so mad if she didn't say nothing about it. That's 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 where the problem would lie. The problem would be you outside and because as at the end of the day, if you live with me, if I'm your man, I'm responsible. Some shit go happen. She go missing or something like that. And her folks call me. And they like, yo, yo, where is that? What's she doing? I, and I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I, that, that, that will weigh heavy on me as a man. So I wouldn't be bitching on her like, oh yeah, where you at? Why you ain't slide? Why you ain't? If you say something, if you say, listen, I'm gonna be an extra hour and a half, and you say that shit at like 10 o'clock, 10:30, then I wouldn't even care because I can expect it. I could just 
go ahead about my business. But she didn't say nothing. If she ain't say nothing, then I'm a, that's a problem. So how you handle that when she comes home? Then I'll talk to her about that right there. Don't don't not be somewhere and then not give updates after you gave me your word. That's what that was what I probably say. If you gave me your word, you'd be here at eleven, and you stay a whole hour and a half, and you don't like update with the expectation that you was supposed to be here. That's that's almost on par with lying to me. You know what I'm saying? So you be yelling or you just talk to her? I don't know. Yeah, that's the one thing about me. I'm I'm a very laid back. I'm a very chill person. I rather. I'd rather wait before I yell. Uh, okay. Asia, how do you deal with conflict? Because earlier you were telling me you're going a little. Yeah, give her a scenario. If you think, listen, if you think you want to yell at me, I'm a hard, I'm a hard nigga to get mad at. Well, I'm a hard, I'm a hard nigga to deal with. I okay, like I said, I'm a little, <laughs> but it's not in a bad way. It's in a way when I when I know somebody playing with me, I call them out on it. Just, as so, you're supposed to. Yes. Yeah, so, right, so Melly, give her the scenario. Give her a scenario. Guys would consider that crazy. Can be the same. Same, oh, yeah. so, same scenario. scenario. I tell you, I'm gonna be home at eleven. You got something planned for me to be at eleven. I stay out later. I get back at twelve thirty. How you handling that? I'm sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was sneak in the crib, smooth and shit. <laughs> Lay down and all that. I'm like, y'all been here. What time you went to sleep? Like, oh. <laughs> so you don't care, Asia. You don't care. You had something planned for you guys to do because he told you. You gotta, you gotta give her a scenario where she actually gonna be mad enough or pressed enough to react. Cause she, she seemed like she didn't care right there. You got a scenario for her. No, go ahead, go ahead. She's about to say something. No, no, no. Go ahead. Give me a scenario, real quick. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I'll be recording. I'll be, I'll be like streaming and shit. This is one of my biggest pet peeves in, the, in dealing with somebody. I stream for like, let's say I stream from 7 p.m. to 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. Wake up next day. I got some shit to do from 11 to 4. I got a little gap of time between 4 to 6. Then I'm live again from 7 to 2. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm working. I'm working. I'm busy, right? So you only really able to see me, like, like once or twice a week. You know what I'm saying? Or if we get on the phone, we get on the phone. Like, not for long. Like, fall asleep on the phone type shit. So with that with that lack of, like, attention, with that lack of um time invested in our situation, how would you do with that? How would you go about trying to get more if it was a problem? Um... I'm gonna be honest. Um, if you're busy, you're busy. Um, but you say that now. You ne so you never been on some clingy shit. You never been on some like. I got my own stuff going on, so I'm busy as well. I'm not gonna sit around and just want to talk to a nigga. Um, if I mean, like, I guess if we're in a relationship, we we have an understanding as far as like our schedules go. Then it is what it is. And it fit in where it fit in. Oh, I like it, Melly. But you know, this how this how all this how all women start. And then next thing you know, two two months down the line, she's like, "Why am I getting this to the phone? Where you been at?" Dad. <laughs> they always start turning a little bit after that little bit of time go fast, man. Mm -mm. All right. Okay. Well, Asia, do you like Ty? He's cool. Yeah. So he's not a friend no more. Molly, why you? <laughs> Molly, you stay, you stay jabbing. Molly, you stay jabbing. I mean, I want to know if she would date you or if she just sees you as like a friend. You know that. That's all. Yeah. Let's okay. see. I, I feel like Asia. You did give him the time. Like he's been on. He's been talking. So if you're not really giving me the the friendly vibe. You're giving me something a little different. I mean, I talk to friends like this all the time. <laughs> okay. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to go. I'm going to tap out, man. I'll get this all the time. I'm going to let y'all. All right. All right, Asia. Listen, chat. Right, why, 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 why Melly try? Why Melly try? Like, right, push the buttons, man. You cool. <laughs> 
So he's really just cool for a friend? Yeah, like I think I think that's a start as a friend. You know? Like Hold every up. even everybody else that I was like, Oh yeah, I like them. Like you gave me up, like I would still be like, Okay, hey, yeah, let's be friends. Like Okay. That's the same place for everybody else. She tried. Listen. All right, I have she, some Melly. guys. <laughs> you know, talk and uh, and then I let you go. Okay. Yo, so listen, Melly. Melly treating her friend thing like oh friend zone, bro, bro. Y'all niggas don't get it, bro. Y'all niggas don't get it. I'm not going for no friend. I'm not going for no bro, bro. No little cousin. No homie. No friend zone, bro. That's not that's not a friend zone vibe. The vibe the vibe she was saying with the friend zone was because niggas niggas start doing too much. Niggas be too hype. So she she talking about that whole friendship because she trying to move at her pace, which is cool. Which is cool if she think that you know what I'm saying. But I have a certain way I deal with things. I have a certain way I handle things. And she you know what I'm saying it is what it is. We ain't talking about the friend zone. We trying to make it to the end zone. <laughs> no nah, chat. Melly kept pressing that button. Like hey, listen, Melly. We all know she don't mean friend zone, bro, bro shit. She mean like. Started off as like you know whatever that some chicks be like that man. Mother be playing defense, bro. Hall of Fame defense at that man. Chat, how long was we talking? I feel like I feel like oh my god, Mother must you. I feel like that was the longest I ever been on one of those chat. I swear it has man. Fifteen minutes. I ain't gonna lie, I was on there long as shit chat. I was on there long as time. <clears throat> She really trying to keep it low key too. On listen, that's another thing she ain't peep. All right, with a with a chick like that, bro. She would low key match my vibe because she to my just friends. Like like that's chat. Listen, what y'all gotta understand is that keeps things real discreet. Oh no, nah, we just friends. No nah, no, nah, that's my home girl. That's my homie. That's the the. No, nah, we just friends. Know what I'm saying? I peeped, I peeped game with that when she said, what would you do if your partner wants to be, doesn't want to go public? I'm like, shit, you ain't, you ain't, listen, chat, she preaching to the choir. Chat, when she said, how you feel about when your partner don't want to go public? I said, yo, you preaching the Bible to the choir. You, you, you preaching to the public. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, I always been on that, but a lot of the times, girls don't like that because they feel like you high in women. They feel like a man don't want to be public because you have other women, and that if you post her, you going you do you going to get caught cheating like some bullshit like that. But a lot of the times, let me turn off the note because I'm gonna put this in the YouTube video. A lot of times, if I don't want to be public, I don't. I'm the type nigga chat. I don't like people in my business, bro. I don't like. I just don't like my name being in people's mouths for for unnecessary reasons. You understand what I'm saying? Like if it's if it's my family, it's the people close to me that know something about me. Are right, cool. Y'all even know what this YouTube shit. Like I don't put I don't put a lot of business out there. I don't put a lot of my personal info out there. So when she said that to me, in, in terms of you know keeping people out of the business of the relationship, I'm like shit. Just say it one more time for the people in the back. You know what I mean? She told me my man gotta be aggressive to bring the submission out of me. Sis, you dealing with a Philly nigga? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. YouTube to the side. Let me. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Chad, we're gonna wrap that up, man. For the YouTube video, Dojo to the Moon to Saturn, and we leaving the solar system. No, this one even know we exist. No, but the chat I was on there long as shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was on there for a long ass time. You, you know that? What y'all said? Like 15 minutes? That's the longest I ever had been on one of them joints. Like that shit just kept flowing. Y'all know usually when I go in there, I spit, I, I talk my shit, I talk to the girl. She laugh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to her, getting her laughing and shit like that. And then I just be like, well, that's everything? All right, bet. But then I kept flipping it back on her and she had her answers. You know what I'm saying? We was going back and forth. Ted, did y'all see her face? Did y'all see how she kept, uh... <clears throat> let me go to when I peep. 